south to western Kansas. We've had large hail, wind damage, even a house destroyed at last report by a tornado out in that part of the country. And severe weather is still a threat through the early morning hours of uh, Thursday morning. We'll watch this for you carefully. Other areas we should see things taming down except for Texas where the rains are coming down in bucketfuls. Here's one tornado watch, Oklahoma, Texas, well warranted. Likewise, this one until midnight local time. Here's the radar. We're flashing the strongest cells north and east of Goodland. This is a cell northwest of Liberal, which has put down a tornado now, it seems like, for the past couple of hours, causing the damage. And as we head into Texas, we have seen tremendous amounts of rainfall down around San Antonio and Victoria, and the rains continue to cause problems. Coming this week, a big warm-up in the east and the threat of severe weather in the central states. Stay tuned. The forecast for the next five days is coming up. What? This is the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to for accurate, dependable weather forecasts 24 hours a day. One storm system is on its way out in the east, but a powerful new storm is causing everything from snow to thunderstorms in the west. The latest on what's heading your way coming up. You are fortunate enough to tune in just in time to see some very dramatic video shot by television station KOCO of Oklahoma City just hours ago. In San Antonio, Texas, they had some flooding rains. This car was dragged down this creek three blocks. Three people were killed. This woman you're about to see, who looks like she's in pretty bad shape, did survive the floodwaters that inundated South Texas earlier on today. 6.2 inches of rain in Texas, and further off to the west side of the state, we had tornadoes. And uh, this time of year, well, tornadoes can really do a number. They can occur in all 50 states. But there's one area of the country and the world that see, sees more tornadoes than anywhere else. Tornadoes are a deadly and destructive weather phenomenon. They occur in many regions around the world, but in total number of storms, the U.S. leads the way. 1,127 were reported in 1991. The largest percentage occurs in infamous Tornado Alley, a region of the Central Plains. The storms concentrate in this area because of a unique combination of weather conditions and topography. Typically in spring, a low pressure system forms in the Central Plains. A warm, moist air current flows from the Gulf of Mexico to and around the low pressure center. Then a strong westerly flow in the upper atmosphere brings drier air from the Rocky Mountains. These elements create an environment which can lead to an outbreak of destructive weather. This is Andover, Kansas. Portions of the town were flattened by a twister on the 26th of April, 1991. Thirteen people were killed. Just another reminder of the deadly force of tornadoes, especially in the area known as Tornado Alley. Dave Schwartz, The Weather Channel. Tornado Alley includes the area shaded in red tonight, West Texas, Western Oklahoma, Western Kansas, Western Nebraska, and Southwestern South Dakota. A tornado was sighted on the ground 40 miles south of Rapid City. It's moving to the north-northwest, should just miss the town to the southwest, but winds are gusting at the airport to 46 miles per hour. All the elements are in place. Temperatures warm. They are warmed up to the 60s and 70s throughout the plains and still are there tonight. We've got that. Also, we've got the humidity as measured by dew points. 64 degree dew point here in Grand Island, Nebraska. 17 degree dew point there in Denver, Colorado. And when you have the dry air moving into the moist air here, it's just an explosion. Add an upper level storm here across the Rockies and you've got what it takes, my friend. Look at them blow up right there, right along the dry line between Denver and Grand Island. Radar's picking them up, just perfect. Numerous reports of tornadoes, large hail, golf ball sized hail. Western Oklahoma and Western Kansas in particular getting just raked. And that's not all that's happening. Here in Southeast Texas, as we've seen before, flooding rains. Here's San Antonio, just a little drizzle right now after record breaking rains today. Now the heavy rain moving into Corpus Christi, Victoria, six and a half inches of rain. More action to the Northeast as thunder showers rumble across the Catskill Mountains. Let's check on the forecast, shall we? As we head through the day on Thursday, high